This video is going to be about step functions, which are a special type of piecewise functions. Here you see two graphical examples of step functions. You'll notice they look like stairs. They're just a series of horizontal lines. That's why they're called step functions. So even though any piecewise function that is a series of horizontal lines can be called a step function, we're going to study two important types of step functions. The first one we'll look at is called the floor function. Basically all this does is round down. It's written as two vertical lines with little feet at the bottom and your number in the middle. So for example, if f is our floor function of 3.4, you would write it as 3.4 in those vertical lines with the feet and that would equal 3. We're basically just rounding down, always. Even if you take a number like 2.9, which is much closer to 3, we're still going to just round down to 2. Things get a little trickier when you're in the negatives, because you have to remember that negative 1.6, we're looking for a number smaller, so we're going to go to negative 2. You can see the same thing happening over here on the graph. If I pick a number such as, I don't know, one and a half, let me get it darker, one and a half right here, and I go up, you'll see that just goes to the y value of one. But if I go up to two, that's gonna give me the y value of two. Something like negative 2.5 is gonna go down to the y value of negative three. So you're just looking for the closest integer that is smaller than our given number. Our other important type of step function is called the ceiling function, very predictably. In this case, instead of rounding down, we're gonna be rounding up. So we always go to the next biggest, bigger integer. And this time it's written as a vertical line with a little hat thing on the top. This should not, this should be gone. There's no little foot. It's just a hat at the top. So for example, if g of x is my ceiling function, if I plug in 3.5, I would write it as the vertical lines with the hat on the top, with 3.5 in there, and that would be 4, because 4 is the next biggest integer after 3.5. This time we'll go straight to the graph and look at that. So 3.5 right here, you go up, you can see that we're at the y value of four there. So even a number like 2.1, which is really close to two, the ceiling function would send that to three. Negatives again are probably the hardest. So if we plug in negative 5.7, the ceiling function is going to send that up to negative five because we're looking for the integer that is bigger this time. All right, so in class, we're going to actually use these functions in word problems. But for now, let's just practice rounding and what that'll mean. So for homework, please do these four, which are just going to practice using the step functions. And also do five, six, and seven, which are going to use the floor function as actually part of an equation. So you're just going to plug 1 in for x, simplify, find the floor, 3.6 in, simplify, find the floor, and same thing with negative 10.5. Good luck.